Hi folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to play some Ant Queen. So in the last video, we played the sandbox mode, so that means it's time to, uh, you guessed it, play the story mode. I try and switch back and forth to appease everybody. So it looks like we're on level 10, dig the main tunnel. Dig the main tunnel. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get everyone started on that. Let's take a look at our food source outside. Uh... I guess I was correct about that. Food source. Singular. That's kind of strange. That kind of worries me, though. I mean, I should be expecting possibly caterpillars or spiders or, I don't know, beetles. I'm not sure. But we're going to need to supplement this food source. Or otherwise, we're going to go hungry. Alright. So, let's go ahead and uh, get... Are you guys stuck? Yeah, these diggers are bugged. No pun intended. Yes, dig. Okay, um, let's spawn uh, a few nursers and a few soldiers. And the reason I'm doing nursers is because the food source is all the way over here. That's one thing I don't like about story mode is that you can't move anything around. If this were me, I'd, I'd have this over by the queen so that it wouldn't be so hard to feed her. But as it stands, we've got all these slow... Uh, nursers trying to feed the queen and it's just it's just inefficient to have it all the way over here in my opinion I'm not gonna build any workers right now just simply because we've got excess food but I want to keep the soldiers coming and I want to keep the nursers coming and the reason I want to keep the soldiers coming is like I said um, at some point I know the levels gonna throw something at me and I'm not gonna like it so I want to make sure I've got enough soldier ants to take care of it But the downside is I don't want to spawn too much at once because if I do that, then that means more nursers are going to be taking care of the larva than actually feeding the queen. So I need to limit how much I'm building at once. Had the food been over here, that wouldn't have been a problem. But I need at least seven or eight nursers constantly feeding the queen, and I can't do that if I'm spawning a whole bunch of ants. So, yeah, I have to limit how much I'm building. Under attack. From what? What is that? I can't see underneath these bushes. Well, whatever it was, it was a food source. I wonder if they're caterpillars? I mean, they're the only ones I know that spawn green... Oh, there they are. These little things here. Alright. Looks like we got plenty of food now. Oh, there's two more over here on the right. Okay. Oh, there's more down here. My goodness. How many? That is a lot of little caterpillars. Our, our soldier ants took a little bit of a hit. Set it our worker here. Don't want to lose them. Alright, well, don't have to worry about food for a while. From the looks of it. Alright, let's see if they spawn. Okay, they did. Alright, so let's go ahead and get uh, more things going. I want more soldier ants. Uh, let's do one, two. Let's do four. Four soldier ants. I'm hoping my 13 nursers. Four of them can take care of the larva, transporting them around as needed. The rest can feed the queen. Again, I'm trying to limit myself here four at a time if possible. I might be able to get away with five. Alright, looks like the diggers are on their way. I don't know where this room's going to be, honestly. Yep, keep feeding. Keep feeding. Alright, so... 14 soldiers... Well, soon to be 14 soldiers. We've got 10 right now. Alright, so we've got more spawning. Let's go ahead and do... 
two more nursers and two more soldiers. Because these are about to hatch. I'm doing the quick nursers, the ones that aren't as slow as molasses. I guess at some point I'm going to want faster diggers too, but I've got 17 of those suckers and I'm not too worried about it right now. It doesn't appear like I'm up against any sort of ticking clock, which is good, but we'll see. If the developer has proven anything at this point, it's that they're willing to throw anything at you whenever you least expect it. Holy cannoli, there's a ton of beetles here. Oh, let's can we take out the little ones first. All right, attack all of them. Go get them. Kill it. Kill it. Thank you. I've got nine left. Did we get them all? I can't tell. Looks like they're still... I'm trying to attack these guys. They look like they're still... These guys are still alive? Yeah. Alright. Back to whatever it is. Okay, so I'm down to nine soldiers now. <sighs> and... Looks like most of them are injured. I'm gonna have to... All right, let's do this. Let's stop getting the green food and go after the brown food. All right, now that our guys hatch, they did. Okay, so let's go ahead and spawn one, two soldiers. Do we want more workers at this point? How's our food storage? Looks like we're okay. Alright, yeah, let's do... Alright, let's do... Yeah, two more soldiers. Yeah, let's do a total of four soldiers. Try and replace what we had. Alright, the diggers are coming along. I'm guessing they're going to be digging into this room or area down here. Alright, let's take a look at above ground, make sure we're okay. Alright, and the reason I'm going after the brown one, the brown food here, is because it's more nutritious for the queen. And oh, crap! Another set of freaking... This is not good. Wow, these guys died within seconds. Wow, okay. Well, I thought it'd be a lot worse than that. They looked just as big as the previous one. Well, look at all that food now. Alright, I've still got ten soldiers, so... Part of me is wondering if I should spawn more. Probably should. Well, let's wait until yeah, this one is about to hatch at some point. Alright, let's go ahead and do four. There we go. Trying to keep the queen fed. Alright, plenty of food still. Fifteen nursers, nine workers. I'd like to bring up the worker count before the scenario ends if we get that far with it, just so that we have those workers in the next level. Someone left a comment and said that your progress does save from level to level, so I want to try and have a good balance of ants on the next level in preparation for it. Alright, so there's another soldier ant. Alright, so we got three queued up there. Do we want anything else at the moment? Or do we want to let our queen eat for a little bit? 
Alright. Um, I'm tempted to do more diggers just to speed this up, but at the same... I don't know where this room's going to be, like I said. I mean, there's only so many places it could be. Probably right here, I'm assuming. Alright. Um, I'm going to spring for some more nursers. Just because, again, the positioning is... I don't like it. And I might as well spring for a few more workers. Faster ones. Alright, maybe some... Two more faster diggers. Yeah, plenty of food. Awesome. Alright, how are we doing above ground? We're not getting attacked or anything? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, there's still plenty of food left. As long as I don't overextend myself and do something stupid, I should be alright. Assuming nothing else spawns on me here. I've got 13 soldier ants, some of them injured, like I said. Okay. That's another thing I wish they'd change the UI in this particular story mode. Like in endless mode, hovering your mouse over an ant would bring up its stats, I think, over here on the left or something. But you actually have to go down here to the stats button to see everything, and it even pauses the game. So it's just, it's a weird choice. Like, why is the UI different in this mode than in endless mode? It's just, it's very strange. But I would really like to see the UI and the endless mode brought over to story mode because it's just, it's nicer to look at and it's a little bit more efficient. Alright, so it looks like all my ants just spawned. That's good. I'm thinking about getting more soldier ants, but I want to make sure I've got enough food. Each one costs, you know, a good bit. 20, I think. And here comes some more food. You're digging up? What are you, what are you guys doing? Oh, there's my yellow digger ant. Much faster than the other ones. Alright, so one's digging... I'm not sure what they're doing. Alright, well, we'll just wait and see what they're doing. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more soldiers spawned. Again, in preparation for anything that might happen again this level. Plenty of food. That's good. Alright. Still got plenty of that brown food up here, too, so... Yeah, I'm not too worried. We just have to be patient. I'm not trying to spawn a whole bunch of ants at once. Let's do some more workers. Again, in preparation for the next level. And just another soldier or two. Alright. They're digging up, that's weird. And to the left. So they're they're I guess they're making a passageway here and they're making a room over here. So we've got two workers still queued up and one soldier still queued up. Okay. Alright, let's 
go ahead and now these are about to hatch into workers. I'm going to go ahead and get some more soldier ants. I will keep it at three for right now. doing here okay this is almost out of food um just as a precautionary measure i'm gonna go ahead and select all these just so that i don't forget about them i think that's all of them yeah i wish i could prioritize a color like go after this i wish i could prioritize food sources like i want you to go after this one first and when that runs out go after these because obviously brown is better than the green but I don't want them getting green yet, I want them getting brown. I don't want to have to deselect all of these just to prioritize, but whatever. Again, we've got plenty in, st in storage here, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, more soldier ants just spawned. Um, at this point, I think it'd be wise just to save up some food. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take these diggers to do their thing, but I want to make sure that the the queen ant has plenty of food because at some point some point here we're gonna run out these food sources seem awfully small well this is getting much smaller now so we'll just stick with feeding the queen let her build up some strength I haven't seen any more uh, beetles or anything like that, so I think that's the end of it. Hopefully. Alright, how are we doing? Alright, so it looks like we're almost done with this little passageway here, but... And about... I don't know, is this halfway down? I don't know where the room's gonna be. There's a little bit of a shading here, so I'm wondering if this is where it's going to cut out, right here. Slowly but surely our queen is gaining strength. little blue bugs. It's probably a good idea that I built all those nursers just because they're constantly having to kill those bugs. Alright, so we're at 396 food. That's good. Well, 388. Yeah. Roughly 375 to 400 food. That's good. Let's keep it going up. Our max is 1,155 or so. So, I'd like to keep feeding the queen up to that point so that on the next level we have a good bit of help. Assuming that our progress carries over. If that commentator is right. Or commenter, I should say. Alright, let's see above ground, make sure that we still have some food. And no, we don't. Okay, so we're out of food at this point. So now it becomes a race. Can we get the diggers to do their job before our food runs out? Find out. 
doesn't look like they've got much to go. I mean, we're seeing a downward slant here. So it doesn't look like there's more to go. And if there is, it's going to be very brief. All right, still got food. Plenty of it, too. That pile doesn't look like it's, like, going down anytime soon. Our worker ants were busy. Oh, are you stuck again? Alright, well, let's hear. Dig. 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 What are you stuck on? Oh, okay. Whew. Getting worried there for a minute. Alright, so there you go. Uh, we're up to level 11 now. Survive for 8 minutes. We'll do that um, maybe not the next video, but the video thereafter. So stay tuned. If you guys want to see more, let me know if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.